So quickly, um, someone who served as ambassador to the United Nations, who's still pulling in pretty large numbers of vote two months after quitting the race, someone who ran against Donald Trump as too old and unfit to serve today said he has her vote. Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley in 2015 said, quote, Donald Trump is everything I taught my children not to do in kindergarten. I taught my little ones, you don't lie and make things up. She ended up <laughs> serving in his administration. Who are on, these people? On January 6th, she called it an ugly day. She then went and said a couple months later that she wouldn't run against him for president. She ended up running for president. And then we saw Nikki Haley, while her husband was deployed to Africa with the U.S. Armed Services, mocked by Donald Trump for being away. And it was the words of Nikki Haley that were very explicit about Donald Trump said in part that they were disgusting, awful, unhinged, and said that somebody that makes comments like that doesn't deserve to be commander in chief. Her own husband got on social media and fired back and said the difference between humans and animals, animals would never allow the dumbest ones to lead the pack. His allies pushed extramarital affair rumors about her. This is somebody who suggested that she may not even be eligible to run for president because her parents are immigrants. And today, her announcing that she's going to vote for Donald Trump is just, I think, another chapter in something that we've already lived out with the likes of Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio eight years ago. She did raise her hand in that Republican debate and said that she would vote for a convicted felon if Donald Trump was found guilty. And today is evidence that she's sticking to her word. We need shrinks and and cults um, experts to explain this because with what you're reporting, it, it doesn't make a, a lick of sense to me. And it's so recent. I mean, I mean, J.D. Vance in 2015 said something similar. But for her and her husband to both been fight, feuding publicly with him just days and weeks before endorsing him is inexplicable to me at a human level. I think it's power. And I think in American politics, access to power in a, in a party that you identify with is a future. And I think that we have a great share of individuals that have proved this time and again that staying closely associated to Donald Trump is a guarantee that you are relevant within politics if you choose to remain in politics. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable.